What's going on everyone? This is Steve Larson and you are listening to Sales Funnel Radio. Welcome to Sales Funnel Radio, where you'll learn marketing strategies to grow your online business using today's best internet sales funnels. And now, here's your host, Steve Larson. All right, so a few days ago, I was talking to Russell and I was like, dude, my first, like, not the interviews, but just the podcast at the beginning of this, like the very beginning of this podcast, like, I'm not, I'm not like a huge fan of them. I hadn't really found my voice yet, hadn't really found the way I speak and my style yet. I was like, dude, I, I don't know, I might just delete some of them. And he looked at me real fast and he goes, no! He's like, you cannot delete those. And I was like, why? And he goes, because... Because it's part of your journey, man. Like, he's like, you, he's like, you even told me around podcast number sixty on on uh, marketing your car. Like that one, you know, that's when it started changing for me. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But uh, so anyway, those of you guys who have stuck with me thus far, you've listened to the few <laughs> those podcasts in the beginning. Um, anyways, I, I, I'm really loving getting more interaction from you guys. It's been a lot of fun to speak with a lot of you guys and and talk with a lot of guys. I just launched, actually, um, talk about cool things kind of just going on right now. A uh, little update. It's been a while since I've done a podcast, but I just launched a site called funnelfeast.com, and it's a it's a picture of a sales funnel, or just a normal funnel, but it's got two for like a fork and a knife through it, and then just a big bite taken out of the side of the funnel. <laughs> and um, and uh, basically, I get enough of you guys asking me, hey, you know, how do you build this? How do you build this? How do you build this? I thought I might as well start streaming live when I'm building a sales funnel, right? Now, I don't always make it through, um, but uh, I've just, I try to show just the hardcore building parts. Lots of like the little tips and tricks and hacks that I use, stuff like that, you know? And it's been cool to watch. I mean, I think I had like 300 of you on the first one, and this next one's blown up like crazy. Um, I just did uh, Jeff Walker's product launch funnel and uh, went through and built those pages and of course get the, get the share funnel out to you guys, just trying to provide value. Hopefully you guys like that, but Anyway, hopefully I can see a few guys on there later. So, been a little bit busy though. So I was gone for about five days and um, Russell had me over in Vegas and I was at the Affiliate Summit West Conference. And I'm not really a Vegas guy. You know, I don't, I don't really care about gambling. I think it's dumb. <laughs> we studied the little formulas in, in college about what, what actually gambling is, like the actual math formulas behind it. I was like, this is the dumbest thing on the planet. Why would I ever gamble? There's, I'd rather see if a funnel you know, works and lose money that way than on gambling. But anyway, to, to each his own. But I just look around, I'm like, dude, I don't care about this. So everyone's like, oh, you're going to Vegas, woohoo. I'm like, well, you guys are gonna think I'm weird, but like, I don't mind just staying in my hotel room just working. And uh, I guess that goes to show some, you know, I'm a little bit of a workaholic, but anyway. Hey, I thought I would share with you guys some of the lessons I learned when I was at ASW, uh, the Affiliate Summit West. There's thousands of people. These are all the affiliates, um, hardcore affiliates on the internet, right? Um, like I said, thousands of people, tons of vendors. I don't know, they're probably, probably 70 vendors. I mean, lots and lots of companies go there and they set up a booth and everyone just kind of walks around. There's big high level speakers speaking. So obviously Russell spoke while he's there. Um, and uh, really fascinating to walk around and start talking to people. And we had really interesting people come to the booth. Some people who, who have used ClickFunnels and love it. And then people who hadn't heard of it all. That was like the two different categories. There's no middle ground. It was like, I love, I have ClickFunnels and I love it, it's amazing. And then the other category was like, I don't even know what you guys do. <laughs> and I'm like, well, we're all, you know, it's only two years old, so uh, not shocked, you know, there. So, uh, but it's really fascinating. Some of the people that came by, just so self righteous, you know, some of them, they're like, this is what I do and I'm so professional, you know, and you're like, oh man, your customers don't love you. I can already tell you because you're being too professional. Like, I can see that from the, from the outside right now. I don't want to do business with you. Why? Because it makes me think that I have to be all professional and, polished 100% of the time just to use your guys' service. You know what I mean? And I thought that was a really powerful lesson there. The other thing that I thought was interesting is I was walking around and um, uh, you know, I'd walk up and I'd start, talk to, start talking to people and it was fascinating. I mean, we all talked about it. The, the rest of the you know, ClickFunnels staff that was there, we talked about it all together. It's incredible to me how hard it is for people to explain what they do. I mean, I was walking around these different companies. I can't even remember the name of, maybe I shouldn't say names on it, but 
But uh, it was like company after company after company. And I don't know if they had just hired some people who had never heard of their company before and, and they were just trying to fill booth space and get people there from their company and, and kind of represent and wear their swag, you know, or if they just truly, but it was kind of a common thread. I was walking around, it's extremely loud because there's so many people there. So if you're talking like face to face, you feel like you're yelling. So you're basically yelling for like the full eight hours every day, you know, and and, uh, and that was cool for sure. Um, but uh, I was like, hey, what do you do? And I, <laughs> people would sit back and they'd be like, we, um, so what I, I, I uh, <laughs> and there'd be like all these little false starts. I was like, and you really don't know your spot in the business system, the business ecosystem. You don't know what you do. You don't know what value you're actually providing to people. And um, and I was thinking, how how should we do this for for ClickFunnels or even for my own self? You know, how would I how would I say this? How would I pitch what I do to companies? And it it kind of put a theme for the remainder of the event in my mind. And I'd walk around and I. I started asking the question when people walk up to be like, hey, how's it going? My name's so-and-so. And I go, what's up? My name's Steve. And I'd immediately ask him, hey, what do you sell? You know, because I don't want to say, you know, well, we are this and we provide this. And blah, 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 you know, and you start talking about yourself immediately. That's garbage. No one ever wants to hear about that. When I did that in door-to-door -door sales, you know, door-to-door -door sales for two summers and I'd go out and if I started talking about myself immediately, they'd be like, okay, like, why are you knocking on my door telling me that? You're interrupting my space to tell me about you, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just thinking about what you guys, does this make sense? Like, I'm just trying to tell you guys as you go through, like make sure you understand what you do and be able to sum it up. And the easiest way to get to a point, you know, I don't care if you don't build funnels. I don't care if you, if you, you know, whatever it is that you do, go find somebody, you know, as soon as you, like, <laughs> My mom still calls it funnel clicks. She has no idea what I do still, which is fine. But as soon as I can go explain to her and I can explain to certain people around me what I do clearly and have them get that aha moment, like, oh, I get it, right? I gotta get them to have the aha quickly, very quickly. And Russell calls it the epiphany bridge, I think. And um, uh, you gotta get people to say that quickly. Go, oh, oh, I get it, right? If you've, there's a great book called Pitch Anything. I can't remember the name of the offer. Uh, but the author says in there that um, um, there's really like several different brains in our head, right? And the first brain that you got to get through is he calls it the croc brain, right? This is the ancient part of our brains, the part of the brains where, where as soon as something pops up, we go, oh crap, that's something new. Uh, can I eat it? Can I mate with it? Uh, will it hurt me? Uh, should I join my tribe with it, right? It's those internal instincts that you make judgments right off the bat without even trying. Internal human instincts, right? And so when you go up and you start talking to somebody, you, you gotta get your message past those people or pa past those other, the croc brain as he calls it, right? Get it past the croc brain. Get the message past, almost like a gatekeeper. If you guys ever, I did tele, um, telemarketing, you know, phone sales for a while too. I did all sorts of sales before I started doing sales funnels. Uh, which is why I think I kind of took to it kind of quickly. Um, and I did that on purpose actually, which is kind of cool. But anyway, on when, like as a telemarketer, um, we would call the first person whoever answered the phone, you know, so they'd call and um, I was selling for a company called Ivanex. I don't even think they're around anymore either. That was years ago, but um, they'd answer the phone and be like, hey, what's up? Um, looking for Kevin. They'd be like, what? <laughs> it'd be the, recept the receptionist. If they answered the phone and, and I was like, Hello, I'm calling from Ivan X. Blah, 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 blah. We'd like to talk to you about a special offer today. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It'd be, they wouldn't even say anything. They'd just hang straight up. So we'd have to do things that would get us past the gatekeeper into the business owner's office, right? Get that phone ringing and get past the gatekeeper. Well, you can think about that gatekeeper. Think about that first person as the crock brain, right? There's things that you've got to do to get past your market and get your message past the crock brain. So many, of you, so many people I've seen, um, they'll jump out and they'll go, um, hey, what do you sell? I sell this and they're marketing solutions that will help you reach your clients better so that you can better automate your message and receive a better ROI, keep people inside your funnel and ultimately lead them down the path of success. And you're like, oh, that's, nobody talks like that. Nobody talks like that. Don't <laughs> talk normal. Hey, what do you do? And so I would just ask people, cool, what do you sell? And they'd be like, all right. And it'd immediately get them talking. You know, and, and some really good books out there that say whoever talks the most um, is the one who's gonna end up buying something, right? Because they, they talk themselves into it, right? And so I walked up and they said, hey, what's up, I'm, I'm Steve, what do you sell? And they'd say, hey, well, I, you know, I, I kind of sell anything right now. 
and then it's not my job to just start barfing all over them. It's my job to start asking questions and be like, cool, what do you sell? Or what are you selling right now? Or what's the hottest thing on your plate? I never answer that with an actual statement. It's gotta be a question, right? And so I'm th think, start applying what I'm saying right now. So apply it to, apply it to uh, sales funnels, apply it to your marketing, apply it to, think about a squeeze page that pops up and, and it says, uh, you know, you walk, <laughs> the, the front page pops up and it says, we are a global enterprise, run on a marketing, run, 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 run. It's like, man, you can't do that crap, you know? It's gotta be really specific and it's gotta get them um, plugging into, uh, who, who, I think it's, is it Frank Kern or I can't remember, but he says, or Dan Kennedy, I can't remember, but he says the whole job of the marketing is to join the conversation that is already happening inside of your prospect's head. Right. And so people would come up and the easiest way to do that is just start asking a few questions, right? That's why quizzes at the beginning of funnels work so well, regardless of what they answer, if that doesn't matter, you're just trying to get them in, involved in the conversation, right? That's why I love quizzes, right? I, I, there was a few podcast episodes I did that was about uh, quizzes and how to use them effectively. And I think I added the template in there for you guys, along with some um, of the most like high converting quiz funnels out there. And I, I tossed those findings in there. I, th I think I did. If I didn't, please somebody let me know. <laughs> and I'll toss them in because I'm, I'm pretty sure that I did. But anyway, so kind of, I know this is kind of roundabout, but there's a huge point to this in that um, people had no idea how to speak and, and talk about what, what they do. And so people would walk up and go, hey, what do you guys do? And they'd, you know, they'd be asking us, we'd be standing at the ClickFunnels booth. And I'd be like, hey, what's up? My name's Steve. <sighs> you know what? What do you sell? And that's how I would answer that. If they ask me a question, I'd just ask one right back. Be like, well, you know what? Right now I'm selling, I don't know, it could be anything. Right now I'm selling um, uh, dating software. There's a lot of people who are doing that there. Um, I'd say, cool. Um, I guess, how, do you, how are you guys currently getting your clients? And that's what I would ask next, next. I don't just jump right in and say, oh, you're selling something? Well, we are clearly, we are clearly the response. You know, we're clearly the answer for you. You know, that, no one wants to hear that. So they know you're just blowing smoke up their butt. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of options out there. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta play the game. Play the game. This is a, sales is a game. Business is a game. That's how I look at it. And it makes it really even more fun than it already is. Um, but I would say to them, cool, what do you sell? And eventually, I would say a statement like this. You know what? People in your industry actually are typically using our software um, to make, like, auto webinars. And that's when they'd go, oh, interesting. And as soon as they did that, I knew that I had them for the next five minutes. And I say, like, yeah, it's kind of like, well, tell me about who, who's your top competitors, right? And I'm literally funnel hacking them, funnel hacking their top competitors with them. They just don't know that that's what I'm doing. And they'd be like, well, uh, our top competitors are getting all their clients like this. I'd be like, okay, cool. I mean, are you doing that? No. I'd be like, why? You know, hey, let me show you. Here, here we go. And that's when I would stand side by side with them. I would, don't, I'm not squaring up with them. I'm not directly facing them. I'm standing, I step to the side and I stand side by side with them. There's a great book called um, The Definitive Book of Body Language. Absolutely fantastic. I used it like crazy during door-to-door -door sales. Um, but you'll see in there, I mean, you never square up personally with somebody unless you're gonna fight them, you know? If you're, if you're talking to a loved one, you don't square up with them. You stand on the side of them, side by side. So I would stand side by side and, and pull up a computer and be like, well, here, tell me their URL, right? And I'd focus the attention on the tool. And they start going through and they say, hey, we'll go to such and such.com and say, cool. And then I pull up a, a blank ClickFunnels page on the other side and I'd say, hey, let's start going through this. You know what? If these guys are doing so well, my guess is that you're probably not going to want to just go make up something online, right? You probably want to model what they've done. Is, am I saying, is that probably right? They'd go, yeah. <laughs> I'm just leading them down the path of funnel hacking. Anyway, guys, I don't want to keep ranting, but I think you get the point. Is it know how to speak about your stuff, right? And, uh, and, and people, <laughs> there were several people I'd, I'd ask, like, hey, well, what are you selling? They'd be like, I sell, I sell everything. I'd be like, you, you sell everything. Okay, okay, well, who, who's your market? They'd be like, I sell uh, to everyone. I, what? And they were dead serious. That happened several times. That's the reason I'm making this podcast. I was like, is this a natural, is this a, a, a regularly occurring phenomenon? If you're selling everything to anyone, that means you're selling nothing to nobody. <laughs> like, there's a reason why you're coming to me and it looks like that you've been wearing the same clothes for 10 days. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? If you... <laughs> 
And uh, I have, uh, I mean, there's a few other people who've been talking to me on Facebook saying the exact same thing. They're like, hey, um, hey, what do you sell? I sell, uh, I sell such and such. Who do you sell to? I sell to everyone. I sell to anybody. It's like, okay, that right now, I'm telling you right, you don't even, I don't even need to see your funnel. Your response right there just kiboshed your sales, destroyed them. And by me seriously just tweaking your front end message, I know I'm gonna make this convert because you have a great product and that guy over there is making a buttload of money. So why aren't you? Oh, because you think you're selling to everybody. It's like, no, that's not true. <laughs> I don't try to sell click funnels or, or the funnels that you guys see, like the free funnels. And I'm trying to sell that crap to certain, you know, to everybody. It's only certain people I know who are gonna look at that and go, oh, cool. You know, or people I know that I can go educate and put them through, you know, like a, like a big, you know, multi-day sequence that'll train them how to do this stuff, which I just finished a cool one, by the way, on real estate. So anyway, we'll see how that one goes. You guys see my post about it. Anyway, long rant there, but know how to talk about your stuff and know that when you're selling it, it's more about you just answering questions. It's, it don't, <laughs> or asking questions, I mean. Ask, ask, ask. Just ask tons of questions to people. And eventually they'll look at your stuff and go, okay, so what do you do? And that's how you know you've been successful with it. If I have to tell somebody, oh, you know, ClickFunnels is about, it's like a hundred bucks a month. The top tier one for all the cool ninja stuff is $300 a month. If I have to say that and they didn't ask me, it means I failed. That's what the rule was on door to door. When, when people, when I was doing door to door sales, I'd go, you know, spot to spot to spot, the blazing heat and, uh, you know, it's, it's pest control, right? So it's gotta be hot. So the bugs are there cause we're in the right spot. You know, anyway, so I'd go knock on the door and I'd be like, Hey, we're just, you know, we're in the neighborhood. Um, my boss sent me over here and I'll just act like I don't care. Like my boss sent me over here and honestly, um, we got time for one more. I'm supposed to find somebody. I can give it to you for like 60% off if you want me to do it right now. Otherwise, I'll just go to the next person and they'd be like, what, what, um, how much is it? And as soon as they'd ask that, I'd be like, you know what? And I would never answer it. I would never answer it directly on. I would say, you know what? It depends, actually, because you don't want to just go straight to the end. You want to lead them down a conversation. You want to show them how it's logical that they should buy right now. Take the emotion and use it to your advantage. You know, <laughs> people think sales is dirty, but this is how sales works, okay? You have all done that. None of you buy logically. But closing, everyone thinks they're being logical during closing. That's the whole, anyway, I'm getting way too into sales tactics, but gosh, guys, like, use the same things inside of your sales funnels. These are not, um, uh, if, you get, if you think you're having a conversation with somebody throughout the entire funnel, it means you're doing the funnel right. If you are sitting there and you're like, you know, you're, you're, you're being a little corporate-y on them, like your conversions are gonna suck. Unless, actually I can't, I can't even think of them unless. Um, every time I've ever sold anything high ticket or even low ticket, that's always been the case. Everyone wants to be dealt with as a human being, not as a corporate. No one falls in love with corporations, so. Anyways guys, I'm kind of ranting right now, but I hope you get the point of the lessons I was trying to say here. Know what you sell and how to talk about it. And know that when you sell, the easiest crash course sales course I can give to you right now is that you should not be talking more than the other person. Just ask them a lot of questions and start to show them how it gets in there. And when they ask you how much, and when they start to ask selling questions like, well, does it work with this? You know, those are, those are cues. That's them saying, okay, I'm starting to see how this could work for me. I'm starting to see how this could work for me. Uh, let me start seeing if it really can though, you know, X, Y, and Z, and then they start asking questions. Anyways, I think you guys get it. But hey, if you guys, um, if you guys want to, I'm gonna continue to build a few sales funnels um, online. Typically, I've been doing it Saturday mornings at like eight or nine in the morning, uh, Mountain Standard Time. And I'm gonna go ahead and I just, just watch the Sales Funnel Broker Facebook page, um, or even my personal Facebook page, and I'll keep posting the links out there. You can check out funnelfeast.com, and uh, I got the replays of some of the previous ones, and uh, when I can, when I'm allowed to, I'll drop in the share funnel links for you guys, so you can just download them straight into your account. Um, and also you can check, you know, jump on the email list if you want to. It's just so I can let you know when the next episode is up or that I'm going live. So anyways, guys, hey, thanks so much and get out there and crush it. Uh, be the best spokesperson about your stuff by not speaking about it a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for listening to Sales Funnel Radio. Please remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Want to get one of today's best internet sales funnel for free? Go to salesfunnelbroker.com slash free funnels to download your pre-built sales funnel today.